The data in the first column is the categorical variable G type T, where T stands for the text description of these categories. We have 200 observations of four different categories, and we wish to test whether these four categories have been selected randomly in the ratio of 1 to 3 to 3 to 9. And to do that, we will use a chi-squared goodness of fit test through tables, chi-squared goodness of fit. We're looking at categorical data, so we select categorical data and G type T. We now have to specify the ratios in which we're testing for the appearance of this data. We could either select equal proportions, which is not appropriate in this case, specific proportions, which we could enter here as proportions adding up to one, or we could just define the proportions by historical counts, and we could use counts in an input column, which we don't have in this case, or we could input the constants directly, which we can do by entering the historical counts of 1 to 3 to 3 to 9. And then we can just run the analysis. OK. The results appear in the session window, which are then given for the observed and the calculated expected values for each category. So we get the observed values, the expected values, the calculation of the contribution to the chi-squared value from each category, and then adding up these contributions, we get the total chi-squared value, and then the calculated p-value of 0 0.140 which says that there is no evidence to say that these were not selected randomly in the ratio of 1 to 3 to 3 to 9. It is also possible that we have already summarised the frequencies with which the individual categories appear. So we may have the new variable, G type T1, which just identifies the four different genotypes, and our observed variable is then the frequency with which these have been observed experimentally. So we can still perform the analysis. We go to stat, tables, chi-squared goodness of fit. Only in this case, we have the observed counts, and these are in the frequency column. We can enter the variable G type T1, which gives the names of the different categories, and these now appear in this list of category names. We have already recorded the historical counts appropriate to each of these categories, 1 to 3 to 3 to 9, so we can now click OK. And this now gives us the same output as before, with the observed and expected values, the chi-squared value, the degrees of freedom 3, and the final p-value of 0 0.140.